Uh, I'm I'm pissed at that. No, you, you don't. Okay, here's, here's the thing. Um, the way the audio there's there's two places to turn audio in. I can turn it on in the actual scene itself, or I can have it global. So if I switch between frames and scenes, the audio is on. But the problem with the global audio is by default when you boot up, it's off. Even if you have it selected and it has it selected. So I saw that it was selected, but I didn't reselect it. So it didn't record any of the sound. Gotcha. So what I've done is gone through every single one of the shots and scenes here and manually made the microphone feed part of that scene. <laughs> and now it's on by default. I have no idea what that's going to do if I ever switch between scenes, if it'll like fade the sound out, fade it back in, or which, so now I'm like afraid to use any of the switch scene stuff. I have to do a test one of these days to figure out how that'll work. But that, I mean, that that's ridiculous. It's, yeah, but that, that was a good show. I'm pissed. Oh, well. Ooh, I'm wondering if this is... I'm sorry, I'm kind of listening and... No, that's okay. That's, cause, yeah. There will be angry little monsters if you don't fix that. <laughs> this is one of the things that bugs me about DRM. I have no problem with DRM in and of itself as long as it's device agnostic because that's the problem you're running into not that you have DRM but that the DRM isn't working properly with the device you want to use it with <sighs> yay Google is actually cooperating today <laughs> testing something. Yeah, see, on this other sheet, it certainly does let me in. God damn it. This is me off. Okay, so this guy's got to, he's got to let me. He's either got to give you the password or he's got to unclick unprotect on his system and then, um... Absolutely, I agree. Let's resend it to you. Either one works. <laughs> yeah, because this is just a like, like a pile. Hmm. It's a great 
Participation awards and stuff, right? No, these are electives. I mean, this okay. is. Uh, well, no, there's, there's nothing wrong with giving kids of achievements, and, and this is an Excel sheet that was created by some guy that 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 get, that <laughs> it helps us track. It's actually called Wolf Tracks, you know. No, there's nothing wrong with giving kids achievements. I've just never understood the whole, oh, you showed up, here's your... I'm like, no, no you, yeah, no, you, you no, got to no. do something. Yes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any of that. that Production on it Wednesday morning, and there's no sound. <laughs> Basically, the mic was on and the thing was checked, but because of a glitch in the software, because I didn't recheck it, it didn't record any of the actual sound. And Ben and I have this big disagreement on slates. He 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 he, he, he defines the slate as the current total package being offered. And on that point, I agree with him. The software is ridiculously limiting. It gets in your way more than help you. But I don't consider that slate. I consider that bad software on a form factor that could be very useful. I consider the slate the form factor. It's, it's no, what, you can, what you consider, I mean, what, what, we, what, we, can, what we discussed are two things. We're going to have to do a show just for Rusty. Because Rusty's, a lot of Rusty's arguments have to do with principle and what the future may bring. And some of the examples are what you would consider very Star Trek-ish from the future. What I'm arguing is tablets were here, and we used them a lot uh, back in the 90s. Not, not the way we're doing now. They, not, they were not as nearly as popular um, with the everyday user, but they were there. We had, we had the XP tablet edition. Well, well, and the, prim the, the two primary limiting factors from getting from, well, we, we, like you said, we've had tablets since actually the 80s. We've had yeah. tablets for a long time. Yeah. But the limiting factors between getting from the devices of today to what Gene Roddenberry imagined, because the, the, the two main examples are Star Trek and the Earth Final Conflict global devices that everybody would know. They're like, yeah, that's the device I want. It's it's a combination of having the computing power and having it be small enough to fit it in a mobile package with power requirements that can actually allow it to be mobile. We've had the computing power since the early 90s, but the power requirements it had, you know, okay, carry your car of car batteries around with you. <laughs> That's 
we're, we're finally getting there. I really do think we're one to four cycles of Moore's Law and the battery technology is finally catching up enough that really the primary limitation at this point isn't the technology, it's the bandwidth limitations. Yes. But anyway, let's, yeah, yeah, so what he and I disagree with is I, is I saw where tablets, because I work in that with, with them heavily, and, 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 and health, and now I see today's tablet. So what, what I'm arguing, what I'm arguing, is I don't like the tablets now. And, and so now that my BlackBerry is pushing to my, uh, uh, back to the, the, the little tablet. Anyway, so the, 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 con the concern that I have is that all, most businesses want to follow kind of what the iPad is doing. Sure, they're making lots of money, and, but that, that doesn't necessarily mean the products are all that, uh, are, are, are taking us in the right direction via computing, right? And the problem that I have is that if it becomes mainstream and we let what well, is mainstream now, and, we, and other companies start adopting it, we lose all these power efficiency tools, then that's a, a very bad thing. Now let's say if tablets, all of a sudden what Rusty was bringing up on our Tuesday show, which was, well, there's some small startup in a garage that's going to say, yeah, it's cool. You yeah, and I guarantee you, if if mainstream goes like you're saying and it is completely well, abandoned, uh, I know, but if they keep going that way and they do that for another few years and they just keep abandoning the computing that we spent the last 20 to 30 years getting ourselves to and start sending us back 20 years backwards and what computers are capable of doing, I guarantee you there will be one if not five to ten little startups. They may not necessarily be in the U.S., but they're going to go, this stuff's junk. I want to do something again. And they right. will do it just because the technology's here. Yeah, exactly. And then to make it even shorter, my argument is that Rusty has a great point. And that's the point that I've been trying to make, and maybe, maybe not as eloquently uh, as I should. But use, if, if the tablets, like they are fine today, which the tablets of the past were really full blown OSs where we could interact with the screen, but we're now very limiting software. We're on correct ar CPU architecture, I, I might add. But yes, our ARM is good. Screen, we as users will push the envelope, and the end result is what I'm saying is that uh, us users will demand much more, and then we will essentially take these products, what they are now very limiting, and, and bring it full circle, and, and literally become the power scale and type of computing that we, we get on our, our desktop. So uh, what I was arguing is like this post-PC type thing is I think I find it the reverse. I find it that the, the idea of, of what came to be as this like iOS and iPad will come full circle and mature to be a PC, essentially. Well, it's a PC, but what they mean, oh, we're beyond the desktop, I don't know. It's going to mature right back up uh, to the desktop. It can stay in this form factor. You can get in this form factor, what Russ was talking about, some Star Trek, Star Trek technology, you know, we have something like this, and, and, and you carry this, you dock it at your office, you dock it at your home, you can maybe dock it somewhere else, and it doesn't, that's fine. Form factor to me is, is, is not as critical a problem. Touch is more of a problem for me, which today's tablets seem to be, but it seems we had keyboards with the older tablets. We used styluses a lot back when I was doing the tablet code. Uh, but now it seems to, oh, touch this, touch that, which has really lent itself to being more gaming. In the, in the software, being also very limiting. Is well, well and, and uh, honestly, a, a certain degree of what you complain about, and I, and I complain about this as a designer, um, I look at the way the design and implementation, I'm like, this would be the greatest thing since sliced bread if the person who designed this UI had a fucking clue how human beings actually interact with shit, as opposed to forcing them to go through this, 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 and the, like, you're an idiot! <laughs> And it, 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 you know that that really does have to do with why, uh, at the end of the day, both both the things there, the two most in demand things are either software solution, or people uh, or the design thing because it's one of the, both of those things. It's like it, 
it, it sounds great to say you have a simple user interface, but a user interface is anything but simple. It's usually one of the most complex things in the world yeah. that just happens to be simple to use, right. which is a very, very, very different thing. <laughs> and, that, and that's going to bring us to the other conversation we had on Tuesday, which I thought was pretty damn good, and we were discussing how everybody's a pro user in the sense that a user can go to their office and let's say that they're just a secretary, but they know the crap out of their work processing software, macros, and all this crap that this, that, like, my mother's probably a great example of that. But they go, uh, oh, no, legal secretaries and word processors, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you go, but they go home and they just stare at the screen and go, wow. It becomes like too much. They're outside of their pro environment of what they know. And I guarantee you their computer at work has, if it's Windows especially, has all the icons in their special places. And it can't be moved. And that's why upgrading usually at a workplace is hell on wheels because everybody has everything the way they want it to do it as fast as possible to get their job done. They go to home, you probably find the icons like my dad. This starts up my Yahoo internet page, and this takes me to my email, or this takes me to my chat program. And, that, and, 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 and if without that kind of stuff, it's just kind of like, huh. And they don't really use a, a whole lot of what is there in front of them. And so they've gotten out of that pro mode into this, into, into this home mode. And that led us to discussing Windows 8, where I think that Windows 8 UI will be fine with a little bit of, of uh, discovery once the discovery's learned, and we were talking about... You know what? Uh, going, going over this a second time, tying those two together like that, I actually think there's a strong argument for a fourth form factor. You remember those little USB system on USB computers we were talking about the other day? Like, they're, they're running Linux right now, but with things like Windows to Go coming out and so on and so forth, I can honestly see like flash drive 2.0, 3.0 being, it's not just a flash drive, it's a flash drive with the gigahertz CPU on it and sure. so on, and, and so which will let people do exactly that. They'll take their to-go or their live, or I can see honestly OS 10 in the next rendition coming out, uh, or, or if not this rendition, the one after, now that both Linux and Windows and BSD have a, a live system implementation. I can see Apple adding one too. And that's what you'll do. You'll go buy your USB that has some hardware behind it to take with you from A to B to C to Sun. Uh, because the slates right now are not doing that job, even though they could. Yeah, and, and like a simple task of just having a printer and fax panel where we don't have to do all these third party software applications and it doesn't have to be air print. You know, it should, it, 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 it should just be able to do what I just expect. I mean, it's just these little little limited things. But I digress a bit. Going back to the Windows 8 thing, there is a difference between discoverability and then it being intuitive. And when we're discussing, like, how KDE and, and what Russell likes, like, corners and things like that do seem to be more intuitive. But once, and, and once the user discovers it, the intuitiveness takes over and they're able to do it. For example, when we went from Windows 3.1, which came from the DOS environment, these are like hybrid environments, especially along, on still along, along with 95. But 95 had really good discoverability with the start button. Everybody, oh, I hit start. But guess what? Most people began to clutter their desktops with icons because that circumvents the whole discoverability start menu thing, which I don't like. A lot of people I know don't like the start menu. I'm sure there's people that do like it. But it's so funny how we go to Windows machines and we see all these icons. It's something that Apple users don't like. Well, Apple users have something very similar, which is the dock that, that does, that does uh, carry all their icons. But there's two different well, it's that, That's different, man. That's down there out of the way. Mm -hmm. My desktop right. is still clean, but, man. Yeah, but, <laughs> but my point is, is discoverability. And it can be argued that OS 10 of late has really gone out of its way to make discoverability far more important. And sometimes it can detract from it. Intuitive. Now, Windows, uh, on the other hand, you know, that's why they got rid of the start button. You know, the discoverability of that is kind of uh, diminished. And I think the tile system is going to be phenomenal once people discover it. And they will find the intuitiveness will take over because Windows is really heavily driven by a very quote unquote cluttered desktop of icons. And, and 
that's what Russ and I were uh, discussing in the end. I, we said a lot of good points. It's too bad we lost that show. I, I, yeah, I know. When I freaking saw that, I'm like, oh, you piece of... I, <laughs> I, I, oh, I, oh, I, I came this close to just yeah. throwing the thing out the window. I'm like... <laughs> It was one of those moments. I'm like, ugh. No. So we were, that's what we were discovering. We were talking about discoverability and things like that. Um, and then and that, and then that, bringing that work mode of, of a user uh, back to the tablets is, is where, how we brought the argument full circle in that, no, we're not quite supposed to be C. The desktop, quote unquote, meaning the kind of PC. The V spell. I, I ha okay, I know it's the Apple cool word, but I have never liked the term post-PC. It, it, it goes back to the whole false argument that Apple made of PC versus Mac when the Mac is a PC. It's like, you know, guys, if it's a personal device that's doing computing, it's a PC. <laughs> it's like, Absolutely. So, that I mean, um, I, we apologize because I, I don't think we can ever regenerate, you know. Uh, no, that, 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 uh, we have got to start doing... Um, I gotta, you know what i got to do is I can do it on my Mac. The problem is I want to Skype on my Mac. You know what? I could... What 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 we need to do is we need to set us we need to set a either here or there uh, I I probably need to do it here too we need to have like backups for podcasts and start doing podcasts so yeah. if we screw up the YouTube thing we can still release a yep. podcast I'm gonna run this because I can this my Windows machine definitely feeds into my mixer and then my mixer can so you could just plug that into somewhere and record the sound then. Yeah, we, and we just need to do a test on that. Uh, I don't know if you wanted to go through that now. I, 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 I'm fine. It's like, it's, we're, we're, uh, you know, since we brought that up, um, yeah, we're, we're planning at some point in the next 60 to 90 days to start doing a uh, podcast because we go on on really long conversations. That doesn't always... Which is really suited to podcast. Yeah, that's suited more to podcast than audio. The, the question is, um, would y'all prefer that to, you know, and, and where would you want that? Would you want it on like a site or on iTunes or on an RSS feed or like how would you want that? What, what would be easy for y'all? Because I know there's a core group of 50 to 100 of y'all that are here all the time. <laughs> yeah. Like, let us we know. Have a good core group. Say we'll we'll distribute that whatever works for y'all. If there's a particular audio service y'all use that we didn't name, that'd make it easy on y'all. We'll make sure it's in there. Cause God, there's like a hundred of those little hubs now. This brought to you uh, by Knocking Noise. I know. Okay. <laughs> I'm I, still it, no, th that's the primary thing I need to get in here. I need to get a mixture. The problem is I need a bigger mixture than you because we wind up doing four ways sometimes. Uh, All audio that I can hear will go to the mixer. Uh, okay. But what I mean for over here. Uh, I, I I need to get a mixer that will ideally let me have audio control over each host, which makes it need a little bit more feeds than I... I mean, ideally, I could get away with a little $50 mixer, which I could, doing like this, but then we, we've seen what happens when we get the weird problem with Skype, where it, like, starts auto-correcting y'all differently. <laughs> it's like a mixer would let me fix that, but, yeah... <laughs> 